Hey everyone, welcome to another video uh, with another very special person, Harin. Uh, he is currently pursuing his master's in computer science from uh, CSU Fullerton, right? Uh, and he graciously agreed to, you know, share his experience with us in this interview today. So without uh, wasting any more time, uh, why don't we hear about you a little bit, Harin? Okay, first of all, thank you so much for having me. So, yeah, I'm Harin. I'm basically uh, studying computer science. It's my first semester here. Uh, I do not have any uh, work experience as a job, but because I just um, passed out in my like undergrad. So I do have some couple of internships uh, as full stack developer and data intern. And currently I'm uh, involved with a research, security research contract with Disney. Oh yeah, that's all. Got it. Got it. That is awesome. Um, all right. So uh, moving to the first question. So whenever uh, the first thing that every student who is planning to come to master's, uh, they will face is, okay, how to shortlist the university or which, which universities to shortlist, right? So how was your experience uh, about shortlisting the universities and how did you shortlist CSU Fullerton specifically? Okay. So first of all, there are multiple things uh, for like short shortlisting universities. So first of all, like uh, deciding my like goal, what what is my goal? So like I want to um, uh, go for like I want to explore my career. Like I want to do something that will help me in my career. I want to go in research, or I'm just going for like USA, not like studying there, just partying and stuff. So yeah, uh, my goal was to like uh, study. So basically, and uh, at the same time, some low cost because yeah, I'm not uh, coming from very rich background. So uh, um, yeah, sorry. So um, financial situation, considering the financial situation, uh, the CS chef uh, was um, really good at that because I looked at the uh, uh, free structures. It was uh, really low uh, com uh, connect, like comparing to other universities. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, the university has a good uh, rank and like uh, it is the top four in uh, all CSUs. So that's that. Mm -hmm. And course curriculum was uh, somewhat uh, in according to my like um, interest. So mm -hmm. uh, in conclusion, CSUF and other like uh, some of the other universities were falling like um, in my interest. So I took that. That is great. That is great. And I think one thing which I liked about what you mentioned is uh, you compared different aspects of uh, the university and then you decided uh, to go with CSUF. Uh, uh, moving on to the next question, right? Once you landed here, right? Uh, uh, the first thing generally people look for is on campus job, right? Yeah. So, how is the situation with on campus jobs in CSU Fullerton? And if there are any okay. tips, to get on campus sure. job, like some secret building or something, yeah. you know, I definitely do share that. <laughs> I do have that. So the main, oh, sorry, so I do not have on campus jobs. So I will tell you why I do not have on campus job. But uh, the main thing, key thing I found out that I was pretty late, like for searching for on campus job. Uh, my uh, program was starting uh, on 20th August and I, I arrived here at 10th August. So, uh, obviously the first thing I did to visit the campus and then I didn't like thought like I, I should look for one campus jobs and uh, some of my other batchmates were like um, they were really early coming here so they already applied there and many of the people like there were uh, when I started applying uh, let's say I started applying on starting of the September so till then it was like it was really crowded so um, and the one more thing is like uh, there is a rule here that you cannot do uh, TARA kind of uh, on campus job on the first uh, in the first semester because to do that you have to first uh, talk to the professor to recommend you so uh, the professor will only rec recommend you on the basis on your academic uh, performance on your first semester so the courses you are taking uh, top I'll do top on them be be on the top of the like top 5% and yeah. So you ask the professor to recommend you, professor will uh, recommend you and your, your name will be 
put into a database. And after that, the main board will select you. So basically you cannot do TR kind of job uh, in the first semester, but you can do other jobs as well, like uh, front desk, librarian, uh, like dining, uh, dishwasher, that kind of job. So uh, I applied to those, but as I said, it was really crowded. So I couldn't get into it, but the again, key, again, the second point was to like uh, go every day. So there were people like who uh, be in the line for literally five to six hours. So because of, yeah, so that was wow. that I can, yeah, I can, I like, I don't want my time to be wasted in this. So I didn't did that. So I thought I will uh, top in my like current SAM and I will apply for TRI um, on campus jobs next time. Got it. Got it. But let's say whenever you do get an on campus job, uh, uh, how much does it pay? Uh, does it okay. cover your uh, yeah, monthly yeah, yeah. expenses? Sure. Yeah. So uh, the minimum wage is minimum wage here is fifteen dollar. So uh, let me do the calculation per month. About twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, twelve hundred dollars. So uh, yeah, so we will have to talk about living expenses as well. So. If you're sharing your apartment uh, with um, peoples, so this will cover your all living expenses because um, the rate at apart like rent range is uh, like two two thousand to two hundred five two thousand five hundred. So if you're sharing apartment with uh, other three roommates, so basically I'm living uh, with other three roommates in one B one B apartments. So my personal rent is. Five hundred dollar on average, so with amenities included, it will it will be more or like more or less six hundred. Let's say six hundred dollars. So apart from that, your food will cost. Um, if you are eating like good stuff and like healthier, so it can go up to nine hundred. So basically, it won't go more than uh, one thousand. So if you have one campus job, uh, it will cover your it will cover cover your living expense. Got it, got it. And uh, just to elaborate on that, um, or just a fast follow-up question on that. So let's say if you get a TRA, yeah. does uh, do you get a tuition fee waiver uh, in CSU Fullerton? Um, actually, I don't know exactly, but I've heard many uh, different things. So from one person, I I heard that you you don't have to uh, like they have tuition fee waiver. But uh, some other folk told me that uh, you do not have that. So I won't surely say that. So yeah, I don't know, sorry. Got it, got it, no worries. So guys, whoever is watching, definitely check it out. Uh, mm -hmm. Check their website and or ask your seniors. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so now moving on uh, to the next point uh, and we already covered some part of it, uh, the living part, right? Yeah. I think that's the first thing people worry about once they yes. first or yes. second thing they worry about. So yeah. where do generally people live? Do people live close to the university, which is like just around the university or do they live a little bit farther than the university? In which case, how is the, how is the uh, commute? You know, do you have public transport which you can use? Yeah. Uh, and from the girl's perspective, is it safe to travel? Uh, yeah. Those things. Okay. So uh the apartments are like uh there are many apartments nearby campus so i'm living nearby campus which is like uh 15 to 20 minute walking distance and um there are also like literally uh nearby camp like apartments you can just uh you can see the university um uh, from your window so many best many of my best friends are living nearby but like I haven't heard that they're living very far away from here, like uh, at least like the Indian students, mm -hmm. but there are other folks like they're like citizens, they are commuting. So basically, yeah, fun fact, um, CSF is called commuter college. So many students just commute there. They don't live nearby campus, but I'm talking about international students, like from mm -hmm. coming. From here. Many of my basements are living nearby campus. Like uh, I am living in Eldorado apartments. There are UCE, UCA, network apartments. So yeah, and uh, uh, talking about public transport, uh, we do have um, bus going on, which like uh, literally drops you at the uh, main gate. Uh, the one ticket costs $2. So 
I don't have the like uh, exact calculation. What will like what will be the final figure? But we our college does provide a like hundred dollar bus pass, which will work for six months. So definitely it will be cheaper. I guess I don't know. But yeah, got it, got it, got it. So for us, so I did my masters in San Jose State. So for us, yeah. the transport was free. So okay. I think that's not the thing with the uh, CSUF. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, got it. Understood. Uh, moving on to the next topic, which is uh, about curriculum, right? So uh, specifically, can you talk about how is the curriculum? If uh, someone has to take two or three subjects, which are like preparing them for, you know, job for an internship or for a job. Which would those subjects be, uh, if you can share about that? Okay, like uh, now it depends again on your goal. Like, uh, what are you, your, what are your interests? So, like, I'm machine learning enthusiast. So, um, sadly, uh, there are not many courses in machine learning. They have like one or two courses. One is basically artificial neural network, and second is computational epidemiology. Cut this out, sorry. Yeah. So basically, no uh, yeah. Uh, if you are like, like me, like ma machine learning enthusiast, they the associates do not have many courses available. They have one or two, but uh, they have many courses on software engineering, like eight of them. So yeah. Uh, apart from software engineering, many of the there are many other courses like web backend. Um, I am doing currently advanced blockchain technologies. Then they have uh, um, advanced uh, algorithm as well, advanced database management. So it is very diverse, obviously. So you have to, yeah, you can choose uh, any courses you can, but the courses I like and I I have I have heard from other batchmates, um, advanced blockchain is good. Uh, other than that, ad, uh, advanced networking was also good, and um, yeah, professors are also good. So. Uh, many of the like what I have feel what I'm feeling here is like courses are not that hard like not that hard I have heard I have my uh, other friends who are in other universities like SU and USC so uh, th their courses are really hard like you have to like literally they're hard but uh, from my perspective I just do uh, like um, study on the lecture itself and just do homework uh, daily on the daily basis. So I'm, I'm really fine with that. I do not have to like uh, worry too much about my courses. So courses are not that hard basically. So yeah. Got it, got it. Thank you for sharing that. Now uh, coming to the last uh, point for today's uh, conversation, which is about internship and full-time jobs. So I know okay. you just joined in August, uh, but uh, how do you see the pattern is with your seniors? Is everyone getting internships? Is everyone getting full-time jobs? What are some of the tips that you heard from them? Okay, I don't know exactly about full-time jobs, but uh, on the basis of my LinkedIn search and my networking uh, networking here. So uh, there are people uh, in Google, Amazon, Disney. Uh, most of them are in Disney as per LinkedIn um, statistics. So yeah, they 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 do good. By the way, if you are like uh, many of you have heard that yeah, you have to be in really good university to go into Fang or Mango, what you are saying right now. So yeah, this Google, Microsoft, Amazon kind of uh, companies. Uh, but I don't think so. That is the case. If you have good enough skills and that you have good portfolio, you are good to go. Actually, I I got um um like in not. In, I got uh, on an assessment as well from Amazon uh, and my same, uh, my like my friend from ASU got the same. So it is not the case that you have to be in the really good university to like um, be in this uh, good companies. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely. I think that's one of the myths which people have back in yeah. India, which is they want to be, because in India actually we have mm. a system where if you go to a good yeah, college, that is, that is, yeah. your placement mm. is uh, kind of guaranteed. So uh they have that experience so they try to you know continue with that yeah uh, thought process it. which is not true here right mm. uh, uh, but yeah, okay, yeah, I think... fun fact. sure yeah. um one thing i will i will like to add about uh this is the location of the uh, this college should be also good like i'm uh, the fullerton is nearby la 
and mm -hmm. so because of like in, it's in california so basically um though it's not really like really high ranked university we have good opportunities here because of the location so when you are shortlisting your universities do care about that also like oh, uh, location wise oh i forgot the point you said about uh, being safe sorry can mm -hmm. i add that now yeah yeah for sure uh, so about uh, fullerton being safe it's really safe actually um, any times uh, by the way i'm a dancer also so i have to uh, go to dance class which is like really four, four to five miles away from here so i come back uh, at like 12 at night so um, it's not that uh, like crime and stuff here in at least in fullerton but i have heard in la it's not good like you cannot uh, travel at night but it's really safe here got it got it thank you for answering that i think a uh, lot of uh, parents who are sending their daughters here they have this concern and uh, it helps them to know this uh, yes. so thank you for sharing that uh, well that completes our uh, conversation and interview yes. for today haryan thank you thank so you much for you know taking out time and you know sharing all this information with uh, our viewers uh, and guys if you have any questions definitely put them down in the comment section below uh, and i'll see you in the next video